Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Sravan. So in this video, I will explain you how to add the calendar for our project in Primavera P6 software. Calendar plays an important role in the project completion duration. If you add the less amount of the holidays in the calendar, then the project will be completed in limited time. If you add the number of the holidays is more in that particular calendar, then it will lead to lagging of your project. So holidays also depends upon the duration of the project. If you give long holidays, then it will be having uh, duration of the project is high. And as well as the if you uh, give the less holidays, then the duration of the project will be of less. So in this video, I will take an example calendar 2025 with some holidays specified here as per the red mark indicates. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topic. And if you are not yet downloaded our application, please download our application. The complete courses like StatPro, ETAP, SAP 2000, Revert Architecture was available in our application with 80 to 85 percentage discount offer. The offer will be end soon. So try to use it as soon as possible before it expires. So let's start with our class. So initially I will uh, open my module. So this is my uh, module which is related to the G plus 2 building structure. Uh, scheduling so i was already explained complete scheduling of the project by using primavera p6 software of g plus 2 building in the previous video lecture so you can watch the video lecture related to the primavera p6 so that you will find this particular option so here you can see the calendar is consisting of 1 5 12 13 14 and 19 25 26 is the holidays in the january month in the same process it is consisting of second 8 9 16 22 23 26 is the holidays for the february in the similar process it is having 2 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 22 23 30 is the holidays for this respective option in the same process 6 10 11 12 13 18 20 26 27 4 10 11 12 18 24 25 31 in the same process it is consisting of some holidays here like this so I will add the same calendar for our project and we will see the uh, project duration. So now we can see here according to our project as per our assumed G plus 2 calendar in the previous video we are obtained as uh, planned uh, duration for the particular project is 191 days and the starting days of the particular project is 2nd December I am starting here and ending date is 13th August approximately 191 days was taken according to the G plus 2 calendar. We will assign this particular calendar and we will see whether it is completed in the uh, predefined 191 days or not with the uh, August or something date is there. We will assign those properties. Okay. So for adding the new calendar, go to enterprise option here and select the calendar option here. Just I'm selecting here as calendars. So select add a new calendar here. Just I'm adding. So select this place mark option in order to add the new calendar select option. So just I'm giving the calendar is 2025. Let us consider 2025 as the default calendar. You can select here and you can go to the modify option here. If you want to modify this particular calendar, you can go to the modify option. So here you can see according to the 2025, I was added some of the holidays here as per our requirement and as per our previous project consideration. But here in this case, we will add some more holidays before that we will add holidays for the Sunday. Okay, so for the just I am going to the January here. So go to your work week option here. Okay, so just I am selecting here. So now we can see standard working hours for the particular project is just I am assuming here as nine hours for each day. And just I am giving the working day for the Saturday also. Just I am considering here. Click on OK. Now after that we have to add the holidays for this particular option. So here I am selecting all the holidays except the Sunday section. Just I am giving it as work. So now we will go to the January. You will see 
ट्वेंटी फाइव वी विव द हालिडेज फॉर दिस सो जस्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग वन लेव थर्टीन फोर्टीन लेवन अगेन वी विल सेलेक्ट द इमेज विच इज हैविंग हालिडेज इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ we will go to non working so we are given the holiday for this particular uh, five days and again in the same process we will go to the february firstly we will make this uh, non working days to working days why because we don't know whether it is having working day or not okay so again in come to the february which is having 8 26 22 again we will go to here 8 26 and 22 click on non working so click on this this is the holiday in february in the same process we will give the holiday for this particular march so from uh, 8 to 15 just we have to give and 22 31 8 uh, so we will give the work for this 13th 14th 8th to 15 by using control option we have to select here and 22 31 go to non working now now we will select the april go to the april month we will go to the Firstly, we will make this as active. This time, selecting working. Again, go to the April month. Now you can see here, ah, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen, twenty-six. Ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen, twenty-six. Mostly eight, twenty-six. Click on the work. Sorry, sir, non-work. We are giving the holidays for this. Again, in the same process, we will go to the May. Firstly, we will make here as non-work. work sorry work again go to this may come to the may 10 12 24 31 is the non work again we will go to the june we will make it as non work initially sorry work initially again come to the june in the june there is a holidays only on saturdays so you can consider the saturdays as a holidays for this project and you click on the uh, non work i can see here june completed we will select this we will make it as work and in the july we will select is july 5th 26 is the holiday for the july 5th as well as the 26 we will give the non work again go to the august in the august we will make it as work initially In the August, come to the August fifteen, sixteen, nine, nine, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, twenty-seven, nine, fifteen, six. Sorry, nine, fifteen. Sorry, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, twenty-seven. Click on the sorry non-work option. These are the holidays. Again, go to the September. We'll make it as work as well as this is also work. September, come to September. This five, thirteen, twenty-seven. And up to thirty, five, thirteen, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty. We will make it as non-work. Again, come to the October. In October, we will make it as work. Again, I am coming to the October. One, two, four, eleven, twenty-five. One, two, four, eleven, twenty-five week. One, two, three, four, eleven. This complete week is holiday. This time, assuming as per our assumption. This time giving as non-working. Come to the November. As we will select here and click on the work option. Again go to the November option. Five eight twenty two. Five eight twenty two. Five eight. Again we will select here as sir. Five eight twenty two. We will click on the non-work here. Again last one. This time coming here. From the thirteen. Just I am giving holiday for the particular month. Again, go to the last one. Thirteenth is holiday for the December. Firstly, we will make it as work. This is also work. Thirteenth is a holiday. Again, from the twenty second, I think twenty second to last one, we will give as work. Click on OK option here. Now we can see twenty twenty five calendar was added here like this. So after that we have to assign the 2025 calendar for the project. Go to this uh, G plus two and uh, go to the activities section. Go to select the 2025 here. Again go to select 2025 here. Again in the same process we can change the calendar to 2025. Now 
2025 this is the g plus 2 building construction section we will change the calendar this is g plus 2 we will change that to 2025 Twenty twenty five will change here. Now here you can see I was all added all the calendar G plus uh, sorry twenty twenty five for the calendar. So go to your schedule option here. Click on this. Apply to all selected. Click on schedule option so that it will change all the calendar along with that it will change the date also. Now we can see if the project starting at to December second twenty twenty four then it will be ended by thirtieth of July. okay but the holidays planned is 191 days only working days but based on our all days the complete the project will be of uh, approximately you can assume here july is the 6th month uh, sorry 7th month and this is the one month approximately 8 months is taken for the project according to our assumed calendar so this is the process of adding the calendar and assigning the calendar for the project by using primavera p6 software most of the people are confusing how to add the calendar before adding the calendar we need initially we need to fix the holidays according to our assumption you can add the calendar as a holidays as per your project progress also it will also leads to give you an idea regarding the project completion during asian of the project okay so if you have any questions regarding this particular video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that particular questions thank you